What's up everyone, Ryan here, and today I'm back with another PGA 2K23 course showcase video. And today we're diving into the brand new course, Old Berry Hill, from the designers, Architects Maze and Ohio State Mike. So this is a design collaboration. You may know the designers by the name of Steve Manley and Mike Heron and they've crushed it with this golf course. This is beautiful. It's such a unique environment, and the golf requires a lot of strategy and precision off the tee. And you'll know what I mean when we get out to the course. So bring your driving accuracy today because you are going to need it. So as always, get on out there in game, play this course, and let me know how you shoot in a comment down below. Let's see who can get the best score on the channel. So for our round today, we're going to be diving into the course from the white tees, pin location number one medium wind speeds and all the rest default conditions here for my first round at the course and big thank you to mike and steve for this design collaboration they they're a dynamic duo in designing they, i feel like a lot of their courses they design together and i don't know if they design everyone together but wow they are so good they are knocking it out of the park with each and every design lately so Thank you all for the hard work, but it is time. Let's go ahead and dive on in. If you all get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more, and I have a full playlist linked in the description if you're looking for other course showcase videos. And we have brand new videos every single day on the Gamer Ability YouTube channel. So check the channel page each day. And if you want more from me, tune into my second channel, Gamer Ability 2. Link in the description to that. But here we go. We get to the first tee. You talk about a postcard moment already. I love what they did with this environment. And you all haven't seen anything yet. This is just the beginning. Now, this beginning hole sets the pace and sets this environment up. It's gorgeous. The way the course is routed, planted, the whole environment feels so alive. So let's start the fly over here. We, we have an incredible screenshot moment on hole number one. And you're going to see a lot of postcard moments here. And what you're going to notice when you play this golf course, with the way it's routed, you really have to pick your spots off the tee. And you're going to have to utilize draw and fade. And if you find yourself in the woods, well, good luck. <laughs> but one thing I love here is the landscaping here. With the way the rocks, the wall here in between, it just looks so unique and so cool. And the details, I mean, are insane. I don't know how designers do this between the clubhouse, the planting, building a golf course. They really think of everything. And you'll notice water all throughout this golf course. So be ready. We're going to lose a lot of golf balls. But I love the way they did the creeks, the small little waterfalls throughout. Yeah, I may not be saying that about the water later on. I may be saying, why is there so much water here? <laughs> In this golf hole? It'd be careful. <laughs> I'm just saying that that creek has swallowed up a lot of golf balls in its day and time. Just, it's such a beautiful plot of land. And these designers, Steve and Mike, just absolutely knocked it out of the park with this environment. I could fly over this for days, but I want to I want to do the full fly up so you can see just how big this plot of land is. Oh, too far. There we go. And look how much water there is. So see how the creeks kind of work there all the way throughout the course. You have the road running through the course. Like it's built in within a neighborhood itself. You'll see houses throughout the course. It's just, it's insane. And I do want to fly over here and show this bridge as well. Because that's something we didn't see before. So we have the bridge going across the water here. Be cool to drive across that. Or maybe even hit some golf balls from here <laughs> all, all the way onto the green, right? But yeah, very nicely done. I, I love this environment. And you see trees. You can start to see, get a glimpse of how many trees there are. But the trees do block the sight lines on a lot of holes. So you have to be creative. But very nicely done. Let's see if we can start off with some good golf here. 474 yard part four. Let's send it. One thing I will say. You do not want to miss the fairway here. And I know. That's my nightmare. Right? This course normally is one of my nightmares, but I, I love it. It It's such a unique design, okay, and just in the first there's so here. much strategy involved. Different strategy than all the courses I've played recently. It, it, it takes precision off the tee. 154, uphill 19. I'm going to go 8 iron over, over power. No, it's light rough. Let's go up to the 7 iron. 
Going to come off well to the left. Get to the right. Get oh, to the get right. up. That's just perfect. Oh, wow. Let's not use it all up on hole one. We, we yes, got to save some for, for the round. <laughs> what a right, shot. Up six feet from the cup. Looking pretty good. Beautiful. I'm liking what you're throwing down here at the very beginning of your round. Could you Under imagine how long it would take to plant this Peter course? Up here on the second. And, like, look at this. And this is what I'm talking about. Look at the way the, the rocks are sculpted throughout. The house is there to the right. The golf course feels so alive, right? And there's a lot going on on this golf course. Origin 42 yards, downhill 2 feet. Let's send it. Look at you just absolutely hammering that. That's a tiny fairway to you. Talk about being precise off the tee, though. That's Ryan Gamer's new specialty. You all not know that? Yeah, it's uh, that's what the uh, critics are saying into an now. Green, we might need more club. <laughs> Ryan Gamer's found his swing. Precise off the tee. 107 yards left. Uphill 24 with the slight tailwind. I'm going to do a de-lofted shot. That's right at it. He lofted over power. Oh, yeah, that's going to do just fine. One Great thing work. I will say on this course. All right, drop this one in. This one for birdie. If you find yourself in the woods on some of the holes, you just pitch it out. Don't be like me and try to hit six shots from the woods and get a quadruple bogey. Like I did in the Gamer Ability Society on this course. Yeah, that, that may or may not be a true story. I will not confirm or deny whether Let's that actually happened. That's two in a if row. you're in the Let's Gamer Ability Society, don't go look at the stats to see if it's true. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. Cheers, everybody. And after that, you're two under. Just phenomenal. Right like, look at this. On this hole. They did a lot of planting. On this golf course and sculpting. Wow. Just incredible. 201 downhill 22 feet. I'm going to go 5 iron. A little bit of loft and spin and attack this thing. It's a gorgeous golf course. Steve and Mike. Like that dynamic duo. One thing that would be cool to know, you know, Steve or Mike, if you're out there, do you all design each? Like, does one of you specialize in the golf design, like courses, as far as routing the course, and one of you all specialize in planting an environment, or do you both do, like, both? Who, who does what? Or is it just all, all the, like, complete design at the same time, each and every time? Okay, we're on the green. They know what they're doing, that's for this sure. 23 feet, from 23 uphill feet. 5. Steady right to left. Send this in. Ooh. That, okay, it broke a little bit more at the beginning than I was all expecting. Right, the par. That hurts a little bit, but that's all right. That'll do nicely. You can't make them all, right? Even though it looked like we were going to. Two under through three, we can't really complain. And still at two under par after that one. Okay, speaking of precise off the tee, look how beautiful though. I want to stay at one of these houses. Is this a real place? <laughs> Please tell me this is based off a real, oh, a real golfing dear, resort and neighborhood, and these houses are free to stay in. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure there's plenty of golf resorts with free housing, Ryan. <laughs> we could only dream. And second shot here on the fourth. This is a long par five here, but look at that waterfall is just gorgeous. This there's so much going on. And I don't know how they did this. I'm sending this. You're taking driver off the fairway, are you? Get lucky. <laughs> How lucky we'll can back. you get? Okay, here's our third shot. Not our greatest shot, but you know what they say. After every bad shot comes an exceptional shot. I'm pretty sure I've heard that before in golf. I might have just made it up. 
but I'm pretty sure I've heard that. I'm not, I'm pretty sure I've heard that before. I don't think I'm making that up. Maybe it's just some random person I played golf with or said it. Luck on this one. I want to say I've heard that before. Real estate to cover here. 37 feet downhill, one foot. Look at this putt. 154 green speeds as well. I don't think we're going to get this to stop. I guess not with that attitude. That's actually pretty good. Honestly, getting that even close is is insane. Is the sun Just, starting to come uh, yeah, out? Yeah, look how it's brightening there. up a little bit. This one's nine. Very feet cool. Away. Looking good. Good par. Nicely done. That's a tough par five because if you hit it in the creek, it's really tough. But you can't get there in two. Well, you might be able to at the one a perfect driver. The after that one. We did not hit a perfect Careful driver. There. We got a tailwind blowing. One thing that's really cool about this course is the different color aesthetics used. And now that the course is brightening up a little bit, it just really pops. But the pink trees you notice throughout. I don't know the name of those trees. They're, they're probably not just called the pink trees because <laughs> they're green and pink. Blooming trees? Yeah, that's what I would. That's what I'm going to go with. But look how beautiful. This is a picture-perfect golf course. Wow. 165 downhill 23. Send this. We managed to get a good swing on that. Well, go in. I should have dedicated that one beautiful golf shot. Doing all right hitting those greens today. Well done. So far, so good. We'll take our birdie. We're good playing some good golf here. A okay, three under through five, four holes remaining. Three par fours and a par five. Cheers for that one, everybody. Not Get your coffee. You've brought your score down to three under. So, wow. Look at this one. I got to take a screenshot from like... Wow, look at that. Imagine how long that would take. Beautiful. 480... Downhill 24. A 102 perfect. Wish I could do that Looks every like time. Gonna be in the fairway. Who knew? A course you need precise accuracy? We've had precise accuracy. Remember I said this after we're in the water off the next tee. <laughs> Remember this conversation we had? And this one's about 125 yards Always got to say something, don't I? Let's go normal sand wedge. In this win, a little bit of D-loft. And attack this thing. Okay. Heading for the green. Why can't I have this tempo all the time? I had a little lag there during that swing. Do you see that? It hit that's been happening. Safely on the green. Ever since the last update, if you all remember, I've been still getting stutters in this game. I hope More they the can get if you can sink this right fixed here. for PC. I don't experience it on Xbox. Anybody else getting stutters in this game? After the last update, it's been a while since that that update, but ouch! Right by Hold the it. Hole. Look at that swing plane. I mean, it was a great swing. Yeah, great swing. Car. It was a great read. It was not a great swing. Looking good. Nice. That's gonna work. That's for par. We've got a long par. There also there. is a it's lot going on, on in this course. A lot of planting and sculpting. So it might. It might cause more stutters. But it hasn't really been. It hasn't been yet. That was really the first one we've had. 448 yard par 4. Now do we go left? Yeah. Well let's just go right at it. Or. Yeah I tried to do that. Aim at the bunker. Oh, slow it into the good. fairway. 100% intentional. Ryan, the precise fairway finder. And we're about 130 yards to the pin from 130 here. 130 yards left. The green is funneling right to left. I'm going to go normal pitching wedge partial. This is a gorgeous golf course. I don't know how they built this. The whole environment just feels alive. Beautiful. Okay, on the green safely. 
This if I played a course like ready. this in real life, I would I would have to bring about 36 golf balls. And I would probably still only end up with one golf ball at the end of, of the round. Because in real life, I'm going to be in the trees. I'm going to be in the water. So another birdie. I'm going to be visiting every part of the course. <laughs> Surprisingly, right? Gamebro has not visited the water or the woods. Bringing things wow. down to four under after that one. Gorgeous view. In the eighth hole laid out right in front of us here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, you, you all see this? This is what I'm talking about. You can go for it. But you really don't need to. It's tempting. I'm not falling into the designer's traps. Not today. I usually do. Don't get me wrong. Go, go. Wow, did you see that bounce out of that rough? What'd you put in that golf ball, Ryan? 92, 96% lie. Oh, you better believe I'm going for this. We're not holding back. Just the light rough. That's a 105 perfect. I do not I do not think I could hit that shot again if I tried. <laughs> it's off the green, which is unfortunate, but I really don't this think I could. Third shot. When have y'all ever seen me hit a shot that good from there? Hopefully y'all say, well Ryan, I see you hit that shot all the time. Yeah. That one, That's nice just another chip. day at the office for Ryan and Gamer. Four feet to go. Take our birdie. Oh, what a what yeah, a route. That was fantastic. Cheers. Hope you all got a refill of coffee. For the moment. Chorus Rock and the Kansas City Chiefs. Gonna Part get a back-to-back -back Super Bowl this year. You better believe it. Been a Chiefs fan for, I mean, since kindergarten. So a hundred years ago. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm a hundred. A <laughs> hundred. Wow, you age well, right? Yeah, yeah. It's all. It's gaming. You know what they say? A game of the day. Keeps the age away. Yeah. That fits. <laughs> so I'm going to draw this. This is one where you can lay up. Or you can go to the right. And I think it's a trap. But only one way to find out. Oh, effortlessly. Yeah, I've been nice a Chiefs way. fan for a long time. And many tough years, but now with Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes, like this, this team is get just, it's insane. It's, it's insane. Now, this is a shot that's interesting. I think you're better off not going for this. Yeah, we have a shorter route, but we have to draw a sand wedge or fade a sand wedge around these trees. Not try this at home. I love this design, though. That's a good shot. I slowed it. Without the slow, it might have been perfect. Nice approach. You could take this putt down. I will say, these seven. greens are simple. Nice. On these pin locations. Nice, relaxing round. This is my type of golf course, everybody. Get there. And a birdie. Nicely done. That was a That's six under ball. on the front. Who called in the birdie train? Yeah, I don't know why you all stopped the birdie train after the first two and then brought it back. Like, can we okay, be more consistent now on the birdie train? Hole. Just stay on the tracks the whole time? We don't need food. We, we can get... Just call in the birdie train that has food, drinks, everything on there. So we never have to stop. 459 yards, uphill 7. I'm going for it. Why not? Just a pure swing. Where is this tempo in the impossible challenge? <laughs> in the impossible challenge each week, where is this tempo? Actually, where is this tempo in every video on the channel? Okay, we're Good in question. the rough, but it's uh, we caught a break. I think it's not too too bad. Light rough is fine. I I think we can go seven iron here. A little bit of loft. Now I'm I'm a little bit worried about that tree. Trees are ninety percent air, is what the experts say. The scientists say. It's 
gonna be off the green. That's okay. We can chip this one close. The attention to detail on this course. This one, but that's okay. Wow. Uh, one thing I've Setting not seen yet is the gamer ability squirrel shot. Easter egg. And there's so many opportunities here, and I could have missed it. There has to be a squirrel here, right? No way there's no gamer ability squirrel Easter egg. I haven't seen it, so if you all see it, let me know. Sent it. And you've got this much left to save par on this one. Like, squirrels fit better in this course than, like... Like, this is a perfect environment for s tons of squirrels. Their object meter is probably too full on this golf course. They probably couldn't fit any squirrels. <laughs> Uh, like there's so much on this course the object current. meter has to be kind of in that All danger right, zone what happens on hole number 11 of too much but they made it work beautiful with the purple flowers throughout the pink purple whatever that color is 461 yard par four now this is the one when i played this course in the gamer ability society we found ourselves in the woods to the right trust me do not do that well if you do it Get Don't be like me and be like, oh, I can get through these trees. And then don't be the second, the shot, the third shot. I can get through these well, trees. And the fourth yeah, shot. A, oh, it's, it's, know, it's wide open. So the pin from here. <laughs> Smack it back into the fairway. I don't know what I was doing. This is a tough part four. I'm going to go five iron, full backspin. But yeah, if you find yourself in the woods, don't try to get it through it. I was going for those one of those Legend of Bagger Vent shots when he hits it. Well, when Captain Juna here. hits it right through the trees. Do you remember that? One of my all-time favorite movies, Legend of Bagger Vents. I like it. I like what you did there. That is a gorgeous Pots shot. Pot here. This one's tracking. Yes. Great work out there. Great work. Birdie number seven in the hole. I tried. I've, I've tried to recreate one of those moments from Legend of Bagger Vance in the woods. <laughs> the closest, <laughs> the closest, one of the most entertaining right shots now, was in EA Sports PGA Tour. Here we go now on the 12th. When Ryan Gamer is sitting in the trees at Augusta National, and well, Ryan hits a punch shot, and you think it's going well, and it just drills a fan. <laughs> It knocks him out. That might be one of the best. I'm like, cause I'm, I, I even say, oh, this one's going in. Tin the flag, caddy. Tin the flag, Jerry. Yeah. What a beautiful view, though. Are you kidding me? Like, how many screenshots have I taken? A lot. This is absolutely gorgeous. Steve, Mike. Wow. Wow. Seven iron full sin. Fasted it and pushed it. It's going to be fine. A tough shot. A little play. Here's a look for birdie. Green, greens are break, starting to break a little bit more. 21 feet, steady left to right, up the slope. Looking really good. Get in, get in. Ah, oh, just right by the hole. I like that aggressive line, though. Yeah, did I get a little too Six aggressive? Probably, to but cup. do you want to win or do you want to lose? This putt's going. When you're shooting seven under, you have good pot. confidence. Okay, six holes remaining. We've got two par fives, and we have three shot dedications left. I almost forgot. Okay, seven under What par am I doing? Moment. Distracted by the beauty? Here, right to um. <laughs> so, let's get the caddy book out here for a second. I mean, does, does the right give no the right that tree they uh, that's smart they put that tree there for people like me who are looking for trick shots, shortcuts. Now, I this sounds crazy. I know. I think we can get up and over these trees into the fairway. I really do. The 107 doesn't get there, you can't. Going through some branches here. 
My condolences to your shot. <laughs> My condolences to your shot, John says. Thanks, John. Who put that tree there? That Steve or Mike? Which one? That Steve or Mike? Who did that? <laughs> I guess oh. the beauty about design collaborations, instead of just blaming one designer, oh, wow. you can... Of course it had to go there. You can blame both. Yeah, this one's your fourth shot. Yo, know, I fell right into the trap. Don't do as I do. Don't do it. It's tempting. Now you all know what not to do. My big strategy when I showcase courses to you all, whenever you all play these in a competition, you know, it's TGC Tours Tournament, whatever your competition you're playing, you know, don't do as I do. Right? Well, do this, though. I was really wanting to hole out so bad. We're going to be left with an extremely challenging par putt. That's a tough par five. Par. Who put that retaining wall there? Steve or Mike? <laughs> going to start asking myself that every time. See, you could actually question it in this design. Usually, you know exactly who does it. Right? Maybe that's why they collab on their designs. That's a good putt. That's it's so hard to get that read right. Okay, here's our pretty bogey good. putt. Looking pretty Take good. Take our bogey. Be on our way. First the bogey of the round. For the bogey. You know, I need my hot cup of, cup of coffee over here. We got the other one starting to get cold, so I, I have my thermos Sitting over here. It's an espresso too, and wow, do I need it we after go that. On hole number fourteen. That's actually pretty hot. <laughs> Um, do we go left or right? We gotta go right, right? Nicely done. You got some good contact there. Was not really trying to do a 93% partial there, but at least it's in the fairway. Yeah, this is such a well-made golf course. Beautiful. A lot of planting was involved on this golf course. Out. I mean, we can send this. Oh, that's perfect. This one's looking dialed. Wow. L look at that roll. Now that's that's harsh. That's a safe shot. Safe Here's shot, John. We're within 19 feet. feet. I'll show you a safe shot, John. This is a safe birdie. And that's great. That oh, drop John. shot on the last just we kind have, of a race. Wait, don't we still have three shot dedications left? One. Okay, that's uh, seven under par for now, the moment. What is this? We're shooting over a there. bridge. There is water hole. everywhere. Well, this could don't maybe go in the sand. Into the rough, possibly. Actually, roll in the sand versus the rough. What about? Wow. Okay. Our second shot on the fifteenth. Are hole. you all ready for a dedication? Mike and Steve. This one is for you all. You know what they say. When you dedicate to two designers, odds are the dedication is going to be better. At least that's what we found on the channel. This one's for you, Steve and Mike. <laughs> we definitely have not found that out. <laughs> we found out the actually the complete opposite. When there's multiple designers involved, the dedications get worse. So that's actually well, unfortunate. Pretty good. That's, uh, gonna get counted as a missed green. And from the this green is tough. Side Look row. at this downhill shot. Gonna do full loft and backspin here. Nope. Oh, never mind. I was. If I hit my intended distance, we were well gone. Judged on that one. Every designer loves All a dedicated right, par. Two part. points. Mike and Steve. Nicely played. Since it's to two designers, that's technically four. Some people would say, well, since it's in since it's two designers, you split it in half, yeah, so one, one and one. But seven under. I like to double it. We have a lovely par four ahead of us. 
Are you all thinking what I'm thinking? So risk, risk, drivable par four, but I think we can do this. Good thing we saved our shot dedications to the end. Mike, Steve, this one's for you all. One time this one, everybody, I need you. I'll get through these branches eventually. Hey, it's in the fairway. <laughs> That's not bad. Okay, second shot here on the 16th. Oh, I was getting worried though when I saw that thing fly. It's hard to have regrets about dedicating the shot, but for dedicated eagle. That's such a cool drivable par four. It is drivable. You just gotta strike it to perfection. Here's a putt for birdie. That's a dedicated birdie. Good. Three points, up to five so points on the showcase. Fantastic shot. Let's go. And then we could do a de we could do an eyes we could do a dedicated ace Finger on the par three here. Par currently. And then a dedicated here we go. albatross eyes close bonus. Imagine. How beautiful. This is a gorgeous golf course. Beautiful. 194, downhill 15. Starting to get a little bit of stutters here towards the end. There's a lot going on in this course. I would expect to probably get more, more stutters with everything that's on this course. But we've only had a few. Nice, pure swing, great stuff. Forgot to dedicate the ace. But let's still make it. Got to say this one's for you, Steve and Mike. It doesn't count. Ten feet to the cup. In feet birdie chance. This one's on to be fair, line. if we dedicate that one, it's in the water. We're so maybe it's a good thing. A birdie on that one. Nice. We're playing insane right now. I got to finish up this. It's it's like lukewarm right okay, now, this cup of coffee. But I, I can't waste coffee. All right. Hole number 18. Ready to go. Yo, add some more. That's cold. <laughs> I can't waste it, though. 577 yard part five. Do we want to be right or left? Um, I think this way. Woo. Look at that thing go. John got fired up on that one. Woo. <laughs> brush. John, uh, are you okay over there? He's fired Under up about this golf course. Yeah, this golf course. 18. Fantastic design. Wow. Superb golf course. You must be feeling lucky. Taking driver off the turf. This one's for you, Mike and Steve. For a dedicated eagle. Button for eagle here on this one. Hey, we can slide this in. Stuck. We made one in rank the other this day that was uh, similar to this. Up to be interesting. You this can watch that eagle. video on the second channel, Gamer Ability Two. We hit a we we dominated. That, that was probably one of my best rounds of golf in this game. And we made a putt to close out the match early. It was an insane putt. Maybe not to this extent, but it's probably breaking more. I'm doing a road to Condor grind. Over on Gamer Ability 2. For a dedicated eagle to Steve and Mike. Uh, oh. And about five feet to go. What a read, though. Can't be upset when you got a tap in birdie. You get to eight points dedicated on the showcase, a par and two birdies. Fantastic golf design, Mike and Steve. Steve and Mike and knocked it out of the park again. Your round with a putt. What a finish. Birdied four out of the last five holes after a bogey. That's an exceptional round of golf. That was awesome. What a course. What a golf course. We just hit 71% fairways, 83% gers, 1.33 putts per hole, a 10 under 62. When I played this in the Gamer Ability Society on the same settings, I can tell you I did not hit 71% of fairways. 
I did not hit close to 83% GERS, and I did not shoot even close to a 10 under. <laughs> so, today we peaked. That is an easy favorite. That is an easy five star. Wow, what a golf course. That was a six under on the front and a four under on the back with a bogey. Exceptional work by the designers there. Get on out there, play that course. Let me know how you shoot in a com comment down below. You probably played this in the Gamer Ability Society. It would have been sometime last week when this went through, I believe. So you probably already might have already dominated this golf course. You might have won it. But thank you all so much for watching this video to the end. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more, and you can check out more course showcases in my playlist I've linked for you all in the description, or just plenty of other videos here on the Gamer Ability YouTube channel. Just go to the channel page, check it each and every day for new videos. I play a variety of games, so you're likely to find something other than PGA 2K23 that you like as well on the channel. Tons of content and even more on Gamer Ability 2. Subscribe to the second channel. Would greatly appreciate it. Link in the description to that. But I will see you all in the next video. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.